Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. If you want to take donations on your Squarespace website, Squarespace has a content block specifically for that feature and they've made some amazing changes to it recently. In this video, I'll teach you how to use that content block and how to customize the style with a little bit of CSS. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you how to use them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and if you want to skip ahead to the style ideas, check out the timestamps listed below. I'm going to select Edit to edit this page so we can add a donation block. Choosing the Add Block option and scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the list is where you'll find the donation block. This is a premium feature at the time of recording this video. I'll select Donation, and it'll place the block here in the page section. Let's go ahead and drag this block down here to the center of the page and away from that headline so we can see what we're doing. I'll make it a little bit wider too. There we go. All right, let's edit the content of this block and check out some of the design settings built into Squarespace. I can click this icon here or double click on the block to open up the content tab. As you can see here, I'll need to upgrade this site if I want to use this premium feature and you'll need to set up a payment processor to accept the donations and turn on customer accounts so you know who's making the donation. You've got a lot of different settings here to check out, so definitely explore those. At the very bottom of this content section is where we change the text that displays on the button. Automatically, it's set to donate, but you can change that to anything you want it to be. Maybe support our blog or donate to our cause. Super easy to edit. Customize that text to anything you want it to be. Now here inside the design tab is where we can change some of the style of this donation block. We'll be doing a little bit more with custom code, but immediately I want you to be super careful about this top option right here. This is set to the form style that I've assigned to all contact forms on my Squarespace website. The donation block is going to match that. If I change this setting, it will change the form style for my entire website. So be super careful if you make an adjustment there. It can affect other things in Squarespace. Now, underneath that, we have settings that are going to be unique for this donation block. We can add a background color and change the color to anything we want it to be. I'll go ahead and toggle that off. We can add a border. It's automatically set for a border. We can make that a dashed border. We can change the color of that border. We can change the thickness of that border. We've got a lot of different settings here. If you don't want a border at all, hit that button and you'll get rid of it. Definitely some fun stuff to explore so you can make sure that this matches the style of your own website. Underneath that, we have corner radius. You can see a little curve here in the corner of this block. If I change that value to like 90, it'll be a much more dramatic curve or I could set it to zero and those will be 90 degree angles. After that, we have padding and padding is very interesting. I want you to pay super close attention to the distance between the border and the content inside this block when I select small and when I select large. Do you see how the distance between the edge of the content block and the content inside has changed? That's the padding. So adjust this so it matches the style of your Squarespace website and its layout has enough space that you're comfortable with for your design. This next option for donation amount alignment is one that we're going to fix with code because personally, I think it's confusing. Right now, everything's sent to center and that looks fine. But when we select left align, all of the radio options here for choosing a donation amount, those will all scoot to the left. All of the text will scoot to the left, but the donation value is still centered over the description. And personally, I don't like that alignment style, so I'll teach you how to change that with code. Just be aware that you can select left, center, right, or stretch the full width of the block, which will place the text in the center and the buttons on the left. Again, I am not a fan of that layout. I'm going to leave it on the left and we'll make some code adjustments there together. Underneath all that, we have the disclaimer alignment. That's this section right here. We can go left, center, or right. And then we have the donate button. This is set to match the primary button style for this specific color theme that this page section has been assigned to. I can change that to secondary or tertiary and the button will update automatically to reflect the style changes I've applied to that button in my site styles menu. Now button alignment is left, center, right, or stretching the full width of the block. Select whichever option best aligns with the design style for your own website. All right, those are the design settings for that content block. And again, how we got there, we selected add block and we chose donation from the very bottom of the list. Then to edit this donation block, you can click this icon here or double click on the block. Content is where you'll be able to set up the payment processor, turn on customer accounts, 
check out the fund settings, that's how you can set up these donation values, and then here is where you can change the text that's displayed on the button. On this second tab is our design menu, and here, this very first option at the top will adjust other content on our site. There's even a disclaimer here. This form style will affect all forms on our site, so be very cautious if you make a change here. Underneath that setting are things that are specific for this content block. You can add a background color, you can change the border, give it a border radius, which can curve the corners if you'd like to. Let's go ahead and set that to 30 for an example. Change the padding, the donation amount alignment, disclaimer alignment, change the button style, the primary, secondary, or tertiary, and change the alignment of that button. Stretch it full width, right, center, or left. All right, that's enough for the settings there inside our Squarespace design menu. Let's get creative with code. I'm going to select Save and Exit. And here on the left-hand side of my screen, I'm going to click on Pages directly underneath the word Website. Scrolling down to the bottom of my Pages menu, we'll see Website Tools. This is where we access the custom CSS for our Squarespace website. Clicking into custom CSS, I can add code that will change the style of my site, but it won't adjust anything else. It's not going to break Squarespace, okay? Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. I'll scroll up on my screen here a little bit so we can see the actual donation block, and let's get started by changing the alignment for that value. This very first line of codes is inside a donation block. When there's a radio option and it has a label, align that text to the left. And now we've pushed the value over to the left-hand side of the screen. I think that looks a lot better, but there's more that I want to change with custom code. This next line of code that I just pasted here is going to take that same value text and it's going to make it larger and it's going to make it bold. So it really stands out against the description. It's very clear what that value is. And that's something that we have to customize using CSS. Let me show you how this code works. It says inside the donation block container, when there's a label on a radio option, the first line of that label should have this font size and it should be bold. Super customizable, totally optional. You can even change the color if you want, whatever font or text styles you'd like. Let's go ahead and say color red and we'll make it a bright red donation amount. Okay, probably not the best design idea. I'll remove that line of code. But again, it's super customizable. Now, when I was working on this donation block for a client, they wanted the description to be italicized, but the value to not be. And here's how we can make that magic happen. In this very first part of our code, I'm going to add a new line and I'm going to say font style italic. This is going to make all of the text in there italicized, but we can reset the first line. I'll add a new line of code here that says font style normal. And now the value is normal, but the description is italicized. Pretty cool, right? I'll have this whole code listed in the description below so you can copy and paste it into your own site and make all the changes you want to make. Let's go ahead and select save, and I'm going to show you one more trick before we call this tutorial a wrap. This code is going to change the background color of this button inside our form here, just in case the primary, secondary, or tertiary colors that you've already assigned in your site styles aren't exactly what you want them to be for the donation block. I'll paste this line of code and instantly we'll see that button turn green. We can make all kinds of other customizations here if we want to. Maybe you want to change the color. Maybe you want to reset the border radius for that particular button. Maybe you want to change the font size, 1 REM, adjust the padding. How about uh, 10px? Totally customizable. And again, this will only change the button inside the donation block container. It's not going to affect the style of the buttons anywhere else on your website. These codes will only affect a button inside a donation block container. Again, you'll find all of these codes listed in the description below. But one last reminder of what they do. Text align left. This very first part of the code will pull that value over to the left hand side. If we remove it, you'll see that it's going to be centered over the description, and I just don't like that style myself, so I wanted to teach you how to fix that. Next, we decided to make it italicized for the description. You can totally remove that line of code, and it'll go back to normal. This next part of our code only edits the first line of the radio label, which is the donation value, 10, 20, 30, and 400. We've changed the font size to 1.2 REM. You can make that something like 20px if you're more comfortable with that value. Super customizable. We also made the font weight bold. And we reset the font style to normal, so only the description is italic. The last part of the code that we added here changes the button that's inside the donation block. We gave it a green background. We reset that border radius so it has these 90 degree corners here. 
We changed the font size and we adjusted the padding so the button wasn't as large. All of these codes are super customizable and I hope you're inspired to make some changes to your Squarespace website using CSS. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll consider this tutorial good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes for this tutorial and links to related resources that will teach you about all the cool things you can do with Squarespace. If you're brand new to CSS, be sure to check out my free training available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There you can learn more about what CSS is, how it works with Squarespace, and I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite codes that I use on almost every Squarespace website that I create. Again, that's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn for your free training on CSS basics. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.